Glass is the new movie by M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan sort of has redeemed himself these last few years, ever since doing the movie The Visit. His return to horror and um, simple crime thrillers has sort of given people new faith for him. Especially the movie after The Visit split. It, people thought it was an original horror movie, and it was. However, it was also a sort of spin-off of the movie Unbreakable. So when Glass was announced, a movie that will mix all elements of Unbreakable and Split for a new movie, people were really excited, especially. Glass takes place in real time, 19 years after the events of Unbreakable. Elijah Price, aka Mr. Glass, has been drugged and uh, he spends most of his time sitting in a wheelchair at a uh, psychiatric institute. Uh, the Horde has uh, been a lot more active lately. He's already killed uh, two groups of girls. Meanwhile, the Overseer is Bruce Willis's character, David Dunn. He, people thought his name was Sentry Man or something, but the Overseer is a modern day vigilante who goes after um, different people. In the opening, David Dunn takes down a sort of Logan Paul-like YouTuber who attacks people for no reason and then, or views, and then we quickly get into the main plot where he goes to investigate and stop the Horde from killing a new pack of young girls. So after they both get captured by the police, all three of them are housed at this psychiatric institute where a young doctor named Ellie Stapler is trying to convince them that they don't have powers and that they're delusional. So the main sort of uh, plot is the, the character trying to deconstruct them. They all think Every, Elijah thinks he's a sort of, uh, you know, super villain Lex Luthor. David Dunn thinks he has powers, but he might just be super strong and it might be a delusion. And they also explain why uh, the Beast also has powers and he might not have powers at all. So this movie is a bit muddled. It introduces a lot of elements. We bring back uh, Joseph Dunn from uh, Unbreakable as uh, David's sidekick. Also, Casey Cook returns, the girl that the Beast let a... Um, escape because she suffered in the past. Also, Elijah's mother comes by. And the movie, it sort of promises one thing and doesn't give it to you. If you watch the trailer, you're thinking there's gonna be some epic finale, a sort of uh, epic conclusion to the Unbreakable trilogy, but instead it ends with a whimper. And the movie has amazing acting. James McAvoy is giving it his all. He's probably the best part of the movie. Um, Anya Taylor-Joy returns as Casey, but she barely does anything in the movie. She has like barely three minutes Three scenes, five minutes of screen time, maybe. I think the and then same goes for uh, David Dunn. He's kind of tabled for most of the movie. It's mostly a uh, Samuel Jackson and James McAvoy movie. And there are some things the movie gets right. Uh, I thought they were going to go for like a mental illness sort of theme because uh, at the beginning it talks about having a mental health day and then things like that. But it doesn't have any theme really. And the movie just sort of ends on a whimper. It doesn't really go anywhere. The movie doesn't have much po of a point. It just sort of... Another thing that uh, has to be mentioned is that M. Night Shyamalan is mostly known for horror films and thriller films. He's not really based in action. So when the Horde and David have that big fight at the beginning of the movie, it's not very well directed. They try to use this snore cam effect, kind of like, like this, like... Ooh, uh, uh, and it just doesn't really work. And they try to do that at the end as well. The movie tries to have this big twist at the end as well. It try to, tries to build up to that. It doesn't really need that. People didn't want the typical M. Night Shyamalan twist story. We wanted just a modern day superhero story, maybe a bit darker, more grounded, something different, but they didn't, the movie doesn't deliver that at all. And the way the movie ends sort of just deflates everything. So Glass is a movie is a bit of a misfire. It definitely had, could have been a lot better. So I give uh, Glass a five out of 10.